Okay, for this video, we're going to um, to reproduce a, a wine label, a two-color wine label, and uh, it's printed onto like a cream type material with like a like a brown type print. Uh, we want to print this on the edge, which is a spot color foil um, type printer. So we'll, we'll, we'll pop the file in. Let's have a look at it. So we can see here the file itself is like I was saying, printed on cream with a brown type you know, lettering. If I wanted to print this on an edge as easy. If I just brought this bitmap in as you see it now, it would would not only try and print the background, it would try and print it in process colours, it just wouldn't look any good. I want to use one foil on a cream background that you see here. So so we need to get this into a type of format or a type of file that the edge will, will understand. It's and it's it's pretty easy in uh, in Photoshop. So first of all, uh, let's just stick with the the sort of the image. I won't worry about the text at the bottom at this stage. And I want to crop that out. go and then we might just rotate that so it's at least straight um, let's make it bigger at the moment that's at 86 percent if I zoom in a bit that's that's roughly the size that's on the screen but if we enlarge it in Photoshop first we can get a better quality result out of uh, out of composer so I'll, I'll resize that let's make it percentage and I'll make that 400 percent bigger and I can even change the settings down here for best for enlargement, which will give me a what we call interpolation or a bit of a bit of guesswork in between the shapes. Okay, so it's still a little bit, bit pixelated, but better if I try than if I try to blow it up by any other means. And we want to make a grayscale image mode grayscale. Let's get rid of the color now. But in the background, you can still see it's it's gray. So if I try and print this again on the edge, it will it'll put dots or half tone in the background. There is a cheat we can use in Composer with the color management to eliminate this. However, let's um, let's do it in Photoshop rather than trying to bugger around with the uh, the settings in um, Composer. So all we do now is simply is just go adjustments and curves, and in here we can adjust where the white and the black kick in. So you can sort of see straight away there. If I just play with this sort of this curve here, we can we can make things you know very light, very dark, depending on where we put these. I won't go into any detail on what it represents, just muck around with it basically and you'll, you'll get to where you want to be. So let's say that looks okay. So zooming out we can see now we've got basically our grayscale image. It's not quite black and white. If I convert this to black and white with say a 50% threshold, we will lose a bit of detail in, in this area here. You can see there was there was some colours there. but yeah, it's, it's up to you what you want to represent or what you want to get out. But if you do go with a bitmap like a black and white, it's, it, you, you will get a much better result, a better print out of the machine. Uh, to bring this into Composer though, we'll, we'll need to go back and make it a grayscale, otherwise it won't paste. Okay, then we can go uh, select all, edit copy. We can just copy and paste it across, it's easy. It's just a temporary file into Composer and we can paste it. And then we have it. Now we have a solid black and white image. If I press F9, you can see it's still an image. So we can do one or two things with this. I can set some spot colors instead of the process, or I can actually vectorize this if I wanted to, which uh, which may be may be an option. So you can use then you can um, yeah, maybe able to do outlines or create cut lines around here using the outline tool. Um, but for this exercise, we'll just leave it at that. The only other thing you may want to change in here, if you click on your image fill. Here we can say, oh, all right, I, want to, I don't want to print it as a process, I want to print it as spot black. Okay, and there we go. Now, now when we actually print this, it'll print with one foil onto whatever color you want. And to be really tricky, we can go down here and change the color of the vinyl, say to be a whatever color vinyl you want, and then you can then change the print to that to that sort of brown color that you saw before. Oops. We'll flick through here and look for a brown foil. Burgundy even doesn't really matter. You get the idea. Oh, just get it from the drop-down menu. It might be a little bit easier. Okay. So now we've we've pretty much got the result which we started with. I'll open this up again. You can, so you can sort of see. Oh, where did we go? No, we don't want to save that. Let's bring in our file again. Now you can see there's the, the original, if you like, has a bitmap, 
And then here is our Gerber Edge component using only one foil, okay, on a single coloured vinyl. So yeah, a little trick which will come in handy.